We all know the backhand king Tave Kadaya and we all know his legendary backhand smashes and backhand smash records. But what many beginners and intimate players know less of is his backhand recovery smash, which is a disappearing craft. Nowadays, you rarely see athletes use it. Sometimes you'll see Victor Axelson use it, but less and less athletes are using this very effective backhand recovery smash. So today, we'll be teaching you how to do the backhand recovery smash like the backhand king, Tave Kadaya. So make sure to show some support with a like, comment, and subscribe. The first thing we need to learn in order to do this backhand recovery smash is our grip. Now how do we do the grip? Coming into our neutral as usual, so hand shaking into the vertical. Now we want to go into what I call a panhandle grip. That means our thumb is going to come across the vertical of this racket. Now why this is important is because when we're doing the smash, if our thumb was standard on the flat part, our racket would be facing outwards. So we need to turn it so our racket is facing inwards and we can generate that power on that straight drive smash. So on our fingers wise, how we're gonna be generating power is going to be a combination of our pinky, thumb, and index finger all pushing through pretty evenly. The second step to doing the backhand recovery smash is going to be our footwork. Now footwork is going to start in our neutral position, meaning standing parallel with one right foot if your right hand is slightly in front. Now the first thing we want to do is from this position, pushing up with our right foot to do one shuffle backwards. Now from there we're going to be in this position and from here all we have to do is just turn around and go for that lunge to hit that backhand recovery smash. So looking together it's going to be something like this. We do our shuffle into the turn and lunge. Our third step is going to be our space and contact point. Now when we're hitting backhand shots, one mistake many players make is to hit it too close to their body, meaning they have to swing like this, and this is not how you generate power. Like any shot, you want to have that full rotation generating power. Now when the shot is back here, in order to get that full rotation, you have to leave it out to your side in order to get that full extension. So make sure you leave enough space on the shot contacting the bird. Now we know the space and contact point of the shot, how do we do the swing? Now in order to do the swing, we start off, remember, holding our grip, coming out, reaching our racket far back, already in an upward position, so we don't want to hold it down here. And from here, we're going to lead our elbow outwards and drive it forward, just like the Bruce Lee thing we always talk about, boom, into someone's face. Boom, outwards, and as we're hitting, we're turning our body and rotating it to drive forward. So after we hit the smash, You'll see that my foot is turning outwards so that I can turn my whole body forward. It's like a, giving someone a backhand slap. And one very important tip when performing this in a game is you want to make sure your smashes are straight and close to the line as possible. Because of how fast these are, the shots coming back are going to be equally as fast. Most of the time when you hit this, they're going to be driving back. So you want to hit this, get ready for the drives quickly. Now you never want to hit it into the middle or across court because that'll just be them driving across court too fast for you to react. So remember, you can drive straight as an alternative when people are pressuring you too much on the drop shot in the front court or pressuring too much on the clears and smashes in the back court. Do you want private coaches, custom training plans, and results in your badminton journey? Well, join our free online badminton academy, link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to do the backhand recovery smash just like Tafe Kadayat. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.